looking really good on the roadways. We're keeping an eye on the 101 through the north part of town. You can see ADOT's moving the camera uh, because earlier they were zoomed in. We had a broken down car that was blocking a right lane here right at the State Route 51 transition, but it has cleared out. So with that, we've got green conditions throughout the entire Valley Freeway system right now. Looks great, but what are all these cords doing here? I'm like, are you kidding? Me? When it's dark, nobody can see it, Mom. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> uh, good morning to you, and good morning, Scottsdale. Wanted to pull up the camera here at McDonald and the 101 because Gibby uh, is reporting live from just north and west of McDonald and the 101. So if you uh, want to go check that out again, just north of uh, McDonald uh, and just west of the 101. You can see the freeway is nice and quiet right now. That's the case for the entire Valley Freeway system. We are watching things closely, though. You know we'll give you a heads up when there's trouble out there. West Valley, usually the first stretch of freeway to move into the rush hour, but we are not there just yet. That's a live look at the I-10 and 67th Avenue. Uh, quite a few folks getting their day underway, but certainly not enough to slow you down. That's some good news, West Siders. That is an easy drive time right now, 12 minutes from the 101 into downtown Phoenix. Is okay. Uh, time now, like we said, 548. That's a live look at the I-17 and 19th Avenue. Uh, that's the Durango curve there, and folks are heading into that construction zone where they lose a lane, so it's not surprising that we are seeing brake lights. Uh, but you know what? You can see the whole Valley Freeway system is quiet. We do have some construction closures overnight in this area, so I-17 southbound technically here, you're eastbound. We've got two different on-ramps that are going to shut down at 19th Avenue and 16th Street as well, starting tonight at 9. We'll be closed in the overnight hours, won't reopen until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.